Hello everyone, it's Justine. Today I am sharing a card that is featuring the Be Bold Blooms die set and the Stitched Alphabet die set. Now, I am making this card for a very sweet and very smart person, and she is making her doctorate this next month here. So, and her last name is Ice, so I made a Dr. Ice card. And I used all of the Be Bold Blooms dye pieces to make the background. So I made all of these flowers with that set. Now I am going to put this directly on to the card back. Then I'm going to put my alphabet dies down and then add a couple small flowers at the very end. But all of the flowers you see here are made with that Be Bold Blooms die set and it is quite a die set to let me tell you. <laughs> I love that it is so versatile and you can change the colors of the paper and really make some really different cards. These are all quite neutral tone and have kind of a more muted tone because it's kind of a more natural kind of a card. Now my stitched alphabet die. I love stitching on cards. I think it looks so beautiful and it is a quite a personal touch. And when they came out with the stitched alphabet, I about lost it because I got so excited. I think it would be so neat if Spellbinders came out with numbers as well. But who knows? Anyway, so I use the D, the R, the I, the C, the E. And to make the period for a doctor, I used the another dot from the eye and then just cut out the background um, light tan to make that period. So <laughs> with stitching it is quite simple and it is quite fun to do. I have quite a few stitching tutorials on my channel. If you're interested in really like how to stitch I would check out that those kind of videos on my channel. I do have a I do have a playlist that is all about stitching and I recently posted um, some fall cards with some stitching elements and that is a great place to see really how I stitch on small pieces. So if you're interested in knowing how I did that, go ahead and check out those videos. Again, those would be the small die of the month for September 2022, and I believe it's called Stitched Leaves. So that's that. Anyway, when I glue on my stitch pieces, I use my liquid glue and stick it right on. I've been trying to use my stitched alphabet dies in different ways, and same with my Be Bold Blooms dies, and really just make some different cards with the same materials, but again, changing the color really helps make different cards. I think that this is something that this recipient will really appreciate, and this is something that you could even frame because it is a name piece. And I did end up stamping in the inside something like congratulations or so proud of you, something like that. I can't remember right now, but um, just to finish off the card. I've done that in the past where I make stitch cards and will just put the name on the outside and then in the inside I will put happy birthday or whatever the occasion calls for. Once again, I love making stitch cards like this and it's really fun to personalize. I made a Katie card a couple months ago that was kind of under the sea themed so if you're interested in seeing something like that, I have that in my stitched playlist. And I have some other stitch cards that are a little more simple. So if you're interested, check that out. Now to finish off stitch cards, I sometimes like to add a little embellishment to the stitched areas. So sometimes I use rhinestones or sometimes I use pearls. And on this one, I'm choosing to use small pearls. To add them on, I use just a dot of liquid glue, a jewel picker, and set them on. 
So here is a finished look at this card. If you've liked this card, please hit the like button below and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.